This is the SIMO board 832, a super affordable and great looking single board server that you can easily set up, customize and configure for a multitude of tasks like a personal NAS system, a DIY VPN, a software router, a media server with high res 4K streaming or also for smart home appliances of course and much much more. It is specifically designed for makers and DIY enthusiasts so I can't wait to test it, let's go. Got the new drip from Sima Board, the 832 single board server. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box, this on the side. We also have this, this right here on the back. And the last side, bottom is just blank. So let's open it up. Nice welcome letter on top. Check it out. Love it. Then we also get stickers, pretty dope. And here we have it. First of all, the box with the accessories and the main unit right here, all wrapped up. So let's remove it. Wrap is gone, nice box in the box. Packaging, so we have this side right here. That's the front side actually, looking really cool. This right here with some features, this on the bottom. Top is blank. Okay, so this, and then it will pop open. Neat packaging. There is another box in here. So that was just a premium wrap. Once again, this on top and this. So there we go, paperwork. And here we finally have it, more stuff and the SATA cable. So let's take it out of the bag. Oh, beautiful. But before we get to it, let's of course check out all the accessories first. So again, we have the SATA cable right here and we have this on the other side. Then we also have these two stickers that we can put to the others. Then we also have the main manual. One, two, three and four. All right. And lastly, we have the box with the power brick. So that's everything on the box. And here we go. So we have a multi-plug power brick, always nice to see for three different sockets. Before we put it on, this is the brick with all these specs right here. And just like that. And it's also easily removable. Genius system, love to see that. That's the top of the brick and here we have the side and it comes with a fairly long cable. That's also great to see and that's the plug. So to recap, nice brick, the paperwork and the cable. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. Now look at that. That is looking so nice. It has this satin gray finish with orange highlights and it's looking really well made. It's super sturdy. It's like a solid piece of metal. I mean, it's not that heavy, but you can, it feels valuable. I like it. SATA ports, master header right there. Oh, the back is also nice. There is, yeah, there is still the, the wrap on it. We have the back plate basically. Ah, and from the side, yeah, there we can see the back plate better and the back. So yeah, let's take a close look. So once again, we have the front with the amazingly cool cooling grill. I like it also with the brand. Again, down here we have three ports and we can also see the back plates, the multi-layered back plate from the side. It looks like this. So it has a really cool design to it. Kind of reminds me of some sort of a sports car. And again, this side right here with the main pin header and lastly we have the top with USB ports, power port, ethernet and the shiny nice back plate. Really, really well made. Not bad, right? So let's set it all up and then of course test it. Hooking it up is super easy. Just connect it to the power and then to your network. Just plug it into your switch or your router. That's that. And when you're done, all you need to do is to type in casaos.local and check this out just like that it will connect to the server and while i was thinking for topics for this video i came to the conclusion that if it gets to a small footprint a fast and efficient software the casa os is actually perfect so while this device is easily able to run linux or windows systems just keeping everything casa is actually a great idea casa os is a great operating system it's very efficient so let's just create an account 
Chris created easy as that. So let me just show you around. So right here we have the account, then right here we have the settings and let's do the update right away. Change log. Let's do it right now. We're done. We have to log in once more and let's go. Completed. So once more we have the settings right here where we can select the default search engine. DuckDuckGo. That's great to see. USB drive settings and here we can also shut down the server. Lastly we have the terminal and also the logs right here and this right here is the Casa OS dashboard. So we have the date and time. We have the search bar up here. We can also remove it right here. It's really easy to customize. We have the system status for CPU and RAM. We have the storage. Here we can also see if we expand the storage with an additional HDD or SSD of course. We can see the network status, widget settings right here, all the apps. So let's see files. Casa OS is really beautiful and really fast. We also have a few suggestions right there and when we click on it, it will open up the app store basically or give us a link to Discord. Talking about Discord, down here we also have a feedback form. Then we have the Ice Whale Discord, GitHub, and we can also share it, share Casa OS. All right, enough said. Let's check out all the apps and let me show you how easily you can install them. So all these apps right here are containers. These are Docker containers and installing them, for example, Home Assistant, it's just a few clicks. Super simple. It's fast, convenient. We can also move it to the background. Now we can see it right here. Oh yeah, and we can drag and drop icons to sort them and we can also expand the dashboard and there we go. Home Assistant. Let's open it up. Look at that. Let's go through that briefly. Create that account. Let's go. Next. Oh my goodness. Nice. So just like that, we can fire up powerful home automation. It will even automatically detect all the smart devices on the network. Really cool. Really cool. Okay, back to the OS. And meanwhile, I've also downloaded Pi-hole, as you can see right here. Default password is Casa OS. And as you can see, thanks to the Docker containers, it is so easy to download and install different programs that you can run on it. So lastly, let me show you which programs are amazing and that you should definitely get. Home Assistant is great for home automation. Then we have Pi-hole, it's right there and it's the same as Edguard, for example. There are different ad blocking programs or ad blocking apps that I can highly recommend because this is a great ad block alternative. You can block the ads on an IP level before they will actually reach you and this will make your website load times way faster. No brainer apps right there. And basically all the apps up here, they're up here for a reason. I actually prefer Edguard, but Pi-hole is really fast to install. Then we have Jellyfin for all your media. If you're into torrents, you might be interested in this app right here and a great photo app right there. So as you saw, not only great hardware, but also a great and fast OS that is really easy to handle and really versatile. And the server all in all is really power efficient. And this is the resource management with these two apps going. So as you can see, we can add much, much more. It's almost non-existent right there. I love how the thing looks. It looks unreasonably amazing. So there is no need to hide it. If I implement this in a permanent fashion, I am definitely going to proudly present it. No question about that. Aside from the great design, the hardware is also top notch and can handle all the mentioned applications and use case scenarios easily. To recap, this is the world's first easily hackable x86 single board server. It comes with PCIe, X4, SATA 6.0 and also dual gigabit ethernet on board. It can function as a personal NAS server, as a 4K media streaming server, as a VPN router and also as an IoT gateway. We also have a great pre-installed OS called Casa OS that enables Docker container installs with just a few clicks. Super easy, super simple, super fast and completely free. So say goodbye to your monthly cloud subscription fees and just get yourself this amazing SEMA board. It will pay for itself over time and that is a definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.